This is Miss D from Boys and Girls Club at Sims, and today's lesson we'll be learning about automatopias. For your materials today, you will need a journal, and you will need a pencil. Let's begin. So today we're going to be learning, as you know, about automatopias. So we have our definition, and we have our examples here. We have 10 examples. As you can see, some words are underlined. I'll get to that later on in the video. So the definition of an automatopoeia is it can be used in a poem to create a word or words that imitate the sound it describes. So basically, it uses words to explain how something sounds. So there are a couple of examples that I could say, like if someone says boom and they're describing dynamite, you would be able to hear and also visually see what that looks like or what that would sound like in any case so now i'm going to move on to our examples so our first example says there was a loud bang at the door as you can see the word bang is underlined because that would be considered the automatopoeia that would be considered the word that you'd be able to here and you'd be able to see number two the bacon sizzled as it was cooking number three the fireplace wood crackled at night number four his phone began to ring loudly number five she whispered slowly number six the thunder boomed outside my window number seven the rocks crash to the ground as i dropped them Number eight, he honked his horn. Number nine, they shush each other as they watch the deer. Number 10, the snake hisses at them. As you can see, each one is a word that you'd be able to identify with and be able to hear. I really hoped you enjoyed making automata today. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.